minimum wage. Labor rejects 48,000 naira proposed by federal government. I am Bola Oba, and this is Plus Politics. The Nigeria Labor Congress and Trade Union Congress on Wednesday dumped the minimum wage negotiation after the federal government offered to pay 48,000 naira, a figure far below the 615,000 naira the unions were demanding as the new national minimum wage. Joe Ajero, president of the Nigeria Labor Congress and LC, and Tommy Okon, Deputy President of the Trade Union Congress, TUC, represented the workers at the meeting. Speaking on behalf of the Labour at a press conference, Ajero condemned the federal government's proposed 48,000 Naira wage proposal. He said the government was not serious about negotiating with, negotiating with Labour. Ajero said the government has until the end of the month to arrive at a decision. Quote, the government's proposal of a paltry 48,000 naira as the minimum wage does not only insult the sensibilities of Nigerian workers, but also falls significantly short of meeting our needs. And he said, the NLC and TUC had proposed 615,500 naira as the minimum wage. The federal government should pay Nigerian workers, citing the high cost of living. Ajero said the government's failure to provide data to support the 48,000 naira it offered exacerbates the situation. He said the lack of transparency and good faith undermined the credibility of the negotiation process and eroded trust between the parties involved. Quote, the organized private sector proposed an initial offer of 54,000 Naira, though it is worth noting that even the least paid workers in the private sector receive 78,000 Naira as clearly stated by the organized private sector, highlighting the stark disparity between the proposed and prevailing standards, unquote, the NRC president said. This further demonstrates the unwillingness of employers and government to faithfully negotiate a fair national minimum wage for workers in Nigeria. Take a listen. The government's proposal of a paltry 48,000 naira as the minimum wage does not only insult the sensibilities of Nigerian workers, but also falls significantly short of meeting our needs and aspirations. In contrast, organized private sector proposed an initial offer of 54,000. Though it is worth noting that even the least paid workers in the private sectors receive 78,000 naira. As clearly stated by the organized private sector, highlighting the stark disparity between the proposed minimum wage and prevailing standards, further demonstrating the unwillingness of the employers and government to faithfully negotiate a fair national minimum wage for workers in Nigeria. So I think maybe they should go back to drawing board. You know, and of, of course, you know, between now and the end of the month is enough time. Joining us is the NLC Vice Chairman Lagos, Comrade Olabisi Idowu. We also have a member of, N of NLC, Chris Onyeka, the Equity State TUC Chairman and Secretary. General Academic Staff Union of Secondary Schools, ASOS, Nigeria, Comrade Shola Adegun. Gentlemen, welcome to Plus Politics. Good now, evening. Uh, good evening, Good evening, and thank you. 
Okay. Commander uh, Abisi, are you there? Yes. Are you there? I'm here. I'm with you. How would you want to start? How do you want to start uh, your session on this program? Uh, good evening. Good evening. I just want to, I just want to say this. The, the federal government of Nigeria, they are just I've never seen a just again. If at this particular point in time, we propose 615,000 naira, and somebody has the mind to come and tell Nigerian workers that the only thing he can offer is 48,000 naira and 54,000 naira from the private side. It's an aberration, it's an insult to the labor center in Nigeria. But let me remind the federal government and the state government, if they can zivon 344 million in December, that uh, they target with that money as a COVID-19 when there is no COVID-19 in 2023, in December last year. And come back to the House of Rep and Senate, if they can go home with 150 million per each, and 200 million for the senators. And when it comes to the people that lay the golden egg, that time there will be problem for federal government and state government that you cannot pay, they cannot do that. But what we are saying in that sense, this is not the type of renewal hope we are waiting for in Nigeria. If you move from the city, the town, and the uh, villages in Nigeria today, there are pain in the faces of the Nigerians. And what we are saying now, let Nigeria preach. No going back. And if the federal government should fail to attend to us this time around, come that date, I want to tell you, you have never seen anything in Nigeria before, because all the masses are waiting for us. They are divided and who they have been using since past years, and no, we say no. They are, they are wise up now, and they are waiting. So that whoever can advise them, they should advise okay. them. Go back to is, uh, is Chris on your card there? <coughs> is Chris on your card with us? Okay, uh, let, let's go to uh, the... Uh, okay, Mr. Degu, are you there? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Adem, it, is only, it is only fair and reasonable for me to let you uh, uh, start without first asking you questions. So how do you want to start? Well, uh, first of all, let me say thank you for this opportunity, at least to hear our opinion, to hear the, the side of the oppressed workers. Just like my... The other speaker has said, indeed, it, it, it's very insulting for federal government yeah, cool. to even propose 48,000 naira at this crucial time. Mind you, this same federal government is given now a native of 35,000 naira on worker. I have 35,000 naira to 30,000. That's 65,000 naira. The import of that is that the least federal workers is collecting nothing less than 64,000 naira per month. That same government is proposing 48,000 naira. So, what the federal government have just demonstrated is that the federal government is not serious about the minimum wage. I want to call our attention to, to this. In the course of ele electronic process, there were two candidates that met leadership of organized labor. The presidential candidate to the Labour Party and the presidential candidate of APC, who happens to be the president. I remember vividly because I was opportunity to be part of the people that he met on that day. I remember vividly he promised us living wage. He said if workers will survive in this country 
we have to move from the level of minimum wage to living wage. If indeed corruption must be fought prolifically, then workers must receive living wage. This was the promise he gave to Nigerian workers. And immediately, he assumed office, he also retreated that promise that living wage will be given to workers. So, let us, it's 45,000 naira living wage. When uh, in the, inf the inflation in this country is more than 30%, 30.4%, it's a inflation. Will that 45,000 naira, 48,000 naira, will it be able to buy a bag of rice? Will it be able to pay the hike in the electricity bill? Will it be able to pay different taxes that this government has introduced since inception? To us. And that was why our, our leaders walked out of that meeting. To us, we believe that. Okay, Mr. Adibu. The government is not us serious. I'll come back. Yes, I'll, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you, um, Mr. Uh, Idowu. Uh, the federal government, uh, the governments, because the, we keep we keep saying federal government. However, the tripartite uh, committee comprises governments at the federal and states, representatives of governments at the federal and state, the organized private sector, and SMEDAN, small, medium uh, 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 enterprises, representatives, their, their association, and the two major labor centers. So I am sitting here now wondering why is labor accentuating the federal government as the entity that is seemingly unreasonable when federal government is not the only governmental entity represented in that committee? Just enlighten our public. Uh, thank you very much, Moderator. Oh, okay. Very... Are you... Hello, Mr. Edou. I'm with you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, we can hear you perfectly. Uh, how would you want to respond to that? Yes. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You see, it's very clear. It's very clear, very clear. In any given society, when the law of the land is not supreme, anybody can do whatever he likes. And that's what's going on. If the federal government can propose 48,000, what do you expect from the private sectors? They have needs and they will follow them. If the federal government did the needful, the private will not ever introduce such a thing to us. Just what I said at the issue is an insult. You see, a reasonable person in Nigeria today, we will know that the price of com essential commodities, in fact, is triple. If you look at the percentage of inflation in Nigeria today, it's about 33.9. It has never happened in this of Nigeria. And you are not saying, is that 48,000 they are proposing at 54,000? Is it for transportation for two weeks or for one week? Or for, for the price of price? Because that which you cannot buy a bag of rice. You know the, the, the price of uh, uh, Gary, the plastic of Gary in the market now, thousands of naira. And we are not saying 48,000. Even if the federal government do the needful, the private sector will never do that job which with us. In fact, they are not sincere, they are not transparent, but they are looking down on Nigeria. And I begin to wonder when the federal government are saying, let the let the, let the, let the massive beat. This is how we are going to be on that. They put comrade, their leg on our neck. Comrade Labisi, comrade Labisi though, uh, just That's a right. further question to, can you, can you pay 
<laughs> your driver, 615,000 naira, 615,000, 500 naira. That, that uh, analysis you are trying to reduce is not workable. Why, what do I mean? Now, if somebody pay me for 10,000 naira, where will I get money to pay that driver you asking for? Yeah, but, people, I get that money to but, but, but people, the, the way, well, but people at your level, who does that? Who does that? When you pay us good money, we too we are going to pay whoever is working with us very well. Because all of us, we don't have any shortcuts. We don't have any of the other in other business that that's one. And all of us that lay the golden egg, what they are doing now is to make sure they kill us. They are using poverty. They have seen property in Nigeria now to silence everybody. Don't carry your car. Walk, grand, trek, grand, move, okay. grand. Okay, come here, let me see. Uh, but you know that people at your level don't earn 48,000 naira. You know that the proposed 48,000 naira is not actually for people at your level. You know that those... those what, 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 what you are trying to say now, you are talking about the class system. You are talking about you are not talking about class system, and that is what they are doing. If the federal government, you let us digest a little bit. If the federal government, the federal government introduced class system in Nigeria to kill us more. Go back to the city, city. When they are talking about bandi, 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 so that those who have money can enjoy the supply in the same country. That's what they are telling me. What we are saying now, the least person, let the least person be breathed in this country. All of them, they introduce this punishment to us so that they can enjoy. That's what we are saying. Uh, no, it, 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 it's, not, it's not what I'm saying. Is the is what the history, the economic history, has spoken to. You know why socialism collapsed? It was not so much that socialism was not a good idea because socialism was essentially uh, speaking to the fact that there must be egalitarianism and equality. Now people. Uh, remunerated or, or recompensed. And that essentially was discovered to be a wonderful, a wonderful web for the insolent and the indolent. And you know what? Socialist economics ultimately became not very productive. And as, as ugly, as ugly as capitalism is, capitalism survived because ultimately is a perfect way of rewarding those who, who create value. So I, I know that we don't have perfect capitalism in Nigeria, but the essentially that labor can want to drag us to where we had seen in the last 50 years, up in the last 60 years, up until about 10 years ago, that socialism does not in itself make a country prosperous. More so when, when organized labor in Nigeria is now a canopy for the indolent and the corrupt. Because even the politicians, the people who corrupt them the most are, are, are the workers, are the civil servants. So I'm sitting here now listening to you, empathizing with labor, but also telling myself that the truth be told, in so much as we need to speak to those who are in you know, in political offices that they need to be empathetic, labor also has to be told the hard knuckle truth that you don't have a productive workforce in Nigeria. You may want to go into, there are other factors causing it, or there, whatever, life is garbage in, garbage out. We don't train, when we don't train our, our citizens, ultimately they can be very effectively productive. But I'm sitting here now, as a Nigerian, trying to be dispassionate from all these arguments, thinking, can I pay my driver 615,500 naira? All right. Uh, Mr. Modrito, if you permit me to come in. Come in, sir. I don't... Okay. What? Well, uh... We are talking about uh, that the categories of people that 48,000 naira is meant for are not mm -hmm. in the in our class. Please, 
I want us to be realistic. Let's talk. Let's even go down to the level of that driver you are talking about. Do you want to tell me that 48,000 Naira, 48,000 Naira is enough to take on a driver with a two yeah. children at least that want to live in one room apartment in any suburb of Lagos State? Or equity state, where I come from, where I'm speaking from now. A room apartment in equity state is more is, is more than five thousand naira a month. And the irony of the matter is that even that the rent will not be paid monthly. You have to pay at least two if you are getting for the first for the first payment, you are going to pay two years. Are you telling me? That from 48,000 naira, a driver can send his, his children to Nigeria Public School. So, the amount that the federal government is sending to us, is proposing to us, is unrealistic. It's unrealistic. Just like what former President Akiro said, we submitted jointly. NSTUC submitted 655,000 naira based on statistics. We looked around West Africa country, Africa country, this is what they are collecting as their minimum weight compared to Nigeria. Even countries that can be said not to have been naturally a dog like Nigeria. Not that the economy a power like Nigeria, they are paying workers more than what Nigeria is giving us. And you are talking about labor not be productive. I will not totally agree with you. The thing, thing of how you said that it is garbage in and garbage out. A worker that is paying a salary. That is not is not enough to take him to his office. That he has to trek kilometers before getting there may not be as productive as somebody that is well paid in other time. So that's that's why dignity of labor is highly important. And when you're talking about dignity of labor, your remuneration is part of it. But it is critical. Aspect of that. So if you don't pay me well, you see that you don't respect me, you don't dignify my 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 my, my duty, my, my job. If you don't, if you don't, if I cannot, then what I'm earning, also take care of my dependents. I will not oh, be motivated. Okay. And maybe that's why my, my that's why civil servants oh, as oh. you. Okay, Commissioner, which are not totally, yes, sir. we really have to wrap it up at this juncture. Uh, we appreciate, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you for the opportunity. Uh, this is where we wrap up the show for today. Uh, we are having some technical challenges. Uh, have a good evening.